plus $745 million verdict for a family whose loved one was killed in a car crash. Good evening, I'm Brent Solomon. The driver who hit the 25-year-old victim was huffing before the accident. Mercedes McKay is in studio now with the details you'll only see on Five on Your Side. Mercedes. Brent, RI team's Christine Byers was the first to break this story today. That multi-million dollar verdict just came down Friday. The jury found the companies who manufacture and sell the product the most responsible for the death of the 25-year-old woman. On Friday, September 8th, in the St. Louis County Courts, a jury awarded a $745 million verdict to the family of Marissa Polite. The 25-year-old was killed on Sunday, October 18th in 2020 when Trenton Geiger crashed into the Total Access Urgent Care in Baldwin, where Polite was working as a radiology tech. Baldwin police said before the crash, Geiger was huffing fumes. The fumes were later discovered to be inhaled from a whippet dispenser full of nitrous oxide. Geiger drove through oncoming lanes on Clarkson Road, across a grassy area, through the parking lot, and into a light pole and tree. He then hit Polite outside the urgent care building just 15 minutes after it closed. Initially, Polite's parents filed a lawsuit against the driver in the urgent care. Then in March of 2021, the case changed course, and lawyers went after the manufacturer and retailer that sold the dispenser to Geiger. According to the National Library of Medicine, nitrous oxide is an addictive opioid agent. The attorney for Polite's family, John Simon, alleged the company willingly, quote, poison people for profits with their product. The defendants in the case were Coffin Cardinal LLC and United Brands Corporation. United Brands manufactures the product Geiger used moments before the crash. Coffin Cardinal is one of the many stores that sells it. The trial lasted two weeks. In the end, the jury found United Brands responsible for 70% of the verdict, Coffin Cardinal responsible for 20%, and Geiger responsible for 10%. The 22-year-old pled guilty this year to involuntary manslaughter and drug charges in connection with police death. He's now in prison. While this doesn't take away from the loss police family has gone through, Simon says, quote, the jury punished these companies exactly how they deserve to be punished. Coffin Cardinal actually hung up on five on your side when we asked for a comment. United Brands Corporation hasn't responded to our request for a statement. Now, it's unclear whether these companies will appeal. Polite's lawyer believes both Coffin Cardinal and United Brands knew the addictive nature of their product and said Geiger used it, quote, as they intended.